Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'd just like to go over setting up your Gothic 3 with EMB in SuiteFX or Reshade in SuiteFX. Now, they both are actually set up in the same way, and you can get them here at Nexus Mods by just going to the files and selecting the one that you want to download, or you can get the EMB and SuiteFX version here at ModDB and you would just click the download now. Now once you've downloaded the file you just want to open it up and I'll start with the reshade and suite effects. You can minimize your browser and you want to open your game folder. Now this is available on GOG as well as Steam so if you happen to be a GOG user you would go to this PC, C drive, program files, GOG Galaxy and games and you'll find your Gothic 3 folder there. Now I use the Steam version so I'm actually going to use that for setting this up and what you want to do is go to your Steam game library the Gothic 3 right click select properties local files and browse local files. Now once the game folder is open you just want to drag and drop the contents of the download into your game folder. Now leave your game folder open and start the game to verify that it's working and if so you should see it running in the upper left when the game starts and you should be able to use the scroll lock in order to enable and disable the effects. Once you've verified that it's working just exit your game and close the game folder here. Now if you choose to uninstall the reshade with Sweet Effects, you just want to select the same four files that you installed here and you would just delete them out of the game folder. Next I'll do the EMB with Sweet Effects. So we'll just open that download and then again you just open your game folder as I shown you previously and once you have the game folder open again you just drag and drop the contents into the game folder here leave the game folder open and start the game to verify that it's working correctly if so you should see it running in the upper left when the game starts and you should be able to use the pause break in order to enable and disable the effects. And if everything is working correctly, then when you exit the game, just close the game folder and you're all finished up. Now before actually showing you how to uninstall this, I'll just go over some troubleshooting with the EMB and Sweet Effects version. Now if you happen to start the game and the game crashes, or the game starts but then the graphics in game don't look quite right then exit back out to your game folder here and you'll notice this alt d3 d9 folder now in this is four different folders each containing a different d3 d9 dll and you'll just want to start at the first one there the black mesa just copy that and paste it into the game folder over top of the existing one and again start your game see if the issue is corrected if not go back to the game folder again and just go through the alternate ones here until you find the one that corrects your issue once the issue is corrected then you can close the game folder and you're finished now occasionally you do have to switch between those alt d3 d9s depending on your graphics card but one of the four normally will work for you. Now if you decide that you want to remove the EMB with Sweet Effects, then again you just select the files that you installed and delete those out of the game folder here. And that's how you uninstall it. Now one other thing that I like to do with my games after installing a reshade in Sweet Effects or an ENB in Sweet Effects is adding my game EXE to CleanMem. And if you're unfamiliar with CleanMem, 
you can watch my setup video for installing and setting that up I will leave a link under the video here and if you do have your clean mem installed already then what you're going to do is start your clean mem wizard and you're going to go through to your onlys list which I show you how to set up in the setup video and you want to go into the game folder here and copy the game exe to add to the clean map. So you click the plus here and you just paste that exe name in and say OK and it will be added to the list. Now if you notice I actually have two game exes and that's because I'm using the 1.75 version right here CPT 1.75 and that installs a second game exe. So if you're running the 1.75 version, then you'll want to include the second game exe here. So you'll just copy that and again click the plus and just paste that into the area here. Say OK. And once you verified that they're there, click your next and finish and you're all finished up. Now if you want to go over installing the 1.75, I do have the notes on my mod in order to do that. And I actually have a second part video to this setup which goes over installing the updates and such. So basically I've gone over installing the reshading suite effects and the EMB and suite effects as well as some troubleshooting and uninstalling the files from your game folder as well as adding it to clean map. So if there are any questions please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise thanks a lot for watching, take care and I'll talk to you again.